Let's bring out and give a warm welcome to the young man himself, Suleiman Abdul Karim Ahmed Hayek. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Noor. Good morning, Tanawi. It's good to see to be here with you guys again. And I like Noor's joke more than the last joke. That's because <laughs> Noor paid you. I saw it. No, he didn't. I have proof he gave you B. Spencer. I'll give you 50 if you say my joke is better. No, his joke is better. Yeah. Suleiman, how, how are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Can you come closer to the microphone? Because your voice yeah. is very low. It's okay. very soft. Okay, no. Uh, you are many things, but we're going to focus on uh, on this thing, on this topic that you're working on recently. You are now an instructor for programming. Yes. What yes. is programming? Um, so uh, now I'm an instructor of uh, programming languages. Uh, we do uh, both front end and back end of websites. I do teach and instruct um, Ruby programming, which is um, an easy language for beginners and starters to learn how to code. Um, learning programming is also something really, really, really good because it teaches you design thinking, critical thinking, and it's not just writing um, lines of code. It's it's design and solving problems and. Um, um, Transferring this passion also to others and the community and doing something good for the community like uh, building applications, building websites. Um, yeah. But how old are you? I'm 24. You're 24. You're a very young man, but you're already t talking about these different applications and, and programs and you call them languages like C++. Yes, like C++. C++. I started at university. We took C++ at the first stage of University of Mosul, like uh, College of Electronics Engineering. What year was this? When did you start in Mosul? Uh, I started at 2013. Okay. And so you, so you, st oh, look, look at, look how disadvantaged these young men are. He starts college in University of Mosul, 2013. Already the situation is bad. After one year you finish, who comes in your head? Yeah, then the crisis happened. And Daesh comes in your head. Yeah, and then I I moved to Kirkuk. I, I, li I like how they just like refer the crisis, crisis happened. happened. It's yeah. more than a crisis. It was the biggest terrorist organization <laughs> in the no world history. in your home. In like, yeah. History. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crisis. <laughs> crisis is like, well, like my car broke down. Yeah. The <laughs> crisis is like, oh, I don't have money for fuel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. It was horrible. Yeah. So, okay. You moved to Kirkuk. And, and, and I moved to Erbil, and then I went to, like, every day, I used to go to Kirkuk. Each day, it's like 6.30, I wake up. Uh, I get into the bus, go to, to University of Kirkuk, then come back to Erbil. Yeah. And I was studying in the bus, uh, like to catch up with the um, with the teachers and professors in, in, in Kirkuk because it's it, th that time it was really really hard for for us because we weren't stable. Like um, it was like messy a little bit, you know, your financial state and other things. Like it was a little bit hard. Was yeah. your education in Kirkuk good? Uh, yes, it was. Yeah, it was. It, it was the same as University of Muslim, the same. What, and it's considered good? I, I consider it good because um, everything was, was there, the labs and, the, the, you know, the... Did you just say it was... A, because we know the University of Mosul is one of the top universities in all of Iraq. Yes, the like University of Mosul, the whole staff moved into Kirkuk. Oh, the, okay, okay. Yeah, then you had the same uh, oh, teaching the, experience yeah, and yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah, then after that, I, I went um, I enrolled in a boot camp. Uh, it's called Recoded Boot Camp in Erbil. Uh, and I, I div uh, in the boot camp, I learned how to code and program Android, like to, to, to build applications. So Android what did you finish in university? Exactly. It's electronic. Electronic engineering. Yes. So you didn't study programming in no. university? No. I, oh. I, I, I self-taught myself. Okay, and then you went to recode it, and then you took a class on. I, I, it was an intensive bootcamp there, uh, and I learned Android and um, how to build applications, and yeah, and also the soft skills and. That's yeah, crazy. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, it's it's like a bachelor degree. The bootcamp it's, it's so intensive. It was for six months. Yeah. You learn everything from uh, the beginning. It was like from zero to hero. You yeah. learn everything, and then you had tests, and you have a certificate um, from Udacity, which is a universal uh, curriculum uh, based in US, and you had the certificate, and, w and it's like it's like a bachelor degree. To so, be honest, so now you're an instructor. You bring people together in, in, in the institute. You work at an institute, and you teach people who don't know nothing, who have no background in IT, to learn how to make an application. Yes, exactly. So uh, after I learned uh, programming, I thought, why not uh, transferring the ex experience uh, to others and g give back 
to others like I learned how to program now I want to teach programming to others so um, I work now in, in, in a center it's called Workwell Center it's in the Italian village uh, we teach uh, young from Erbil refugees and ITBs um, from uh, other um, cities what are um, IDPs uh, f- in general no like what are IDPs and that's internally displaced people like refugees but inside Iraq they're inside from Iraq. Iraq yeah they're from Iraq yeah yeah we teach them how to program and compute we start with, with basic IT it's like um, we teach them how to use computer skills Microsoft G Suite how to send an email how to do pres- uh, presentation and then in the second stage we have advanced IT where they can learn uh, programming like Ruby front end HTML CSS and we have also micro work where you can um, do simple tasks or uh, image annotation for big companies in Germany and US and you get paid for this uh, micro working so what do you tell people when they come you tell them hey uh, pay attention in my course listen to me learn because why um, because after this course your life will be changed how uh, because you will get a job because first of all like the 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 job community or the job vacancies in Erbil and in Iraq and Iraq it depends on your skills more than your degree so if you have a bachelor degree in engineering and you don't know how to write a simple code or one code how to say hello world you're not an engineer you're not yeah. so you have to learn skills and we teach skills not giving them certificates. So what you're saying is, hey, college students, just because you have a Shahada, that doesn't mean now you can start just working. You need more skills. You need to learn more things. You go invest in yourself in the institutes, these private institutes. What's the private institute you work at, by the way? What's it called? It's called Workwell, and it, it runs by uh, an organization. It's called PLC. Okay, so PLC, yeah. Workwell, say, they say, hey, come here or come to any other you know, institute, whatever it is the topic, if it's just English language or if it's uh, programming, programming, so that yeah. you have more skills. Yeah, That makes sense, Delaw. You know what's weird? This uh, Kurdistan and Iraq are the only countries in the world that a person that gets an engineering degree is allowed to be called an engineer. You're not an engineer until you get like, no, you start not. working as an engineer, right? Y- yeah, he's not. Like, uh, and one more thing, like if if you're an engineer, you have like a bachelor degree in engineering. It doesn't mean that you're an engineer until you prove that. Until you work as an engineer. Yeah, <laughs> and you prove that. When you, if you want to prove that, you have to build uh, projects. And when you when you build projects, it doesn't mean to copy and paste and duplicate projects. You have to build project from scratch. Yeah. Go to somewhere and build project from zero. And, uh, and after you finish this project, you, you'll be called an engineer. But don't call yourself an engineer on Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. <laughs> You're not an engineer until I'm, you I'm prove that. I'm an engineer. <laughs> um, I, I have a question for you. Um, so you've stu- you, how many languages of code do you do now know? Uh, I, I can't count, but there are many. Okay, what's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is PHP and Java. And also for front end, like building websites like Twitter, Facebook, and other websites like uh, Bible and FM websites, we use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and Bootstrap also. Okay, um, C++. Yes. Do you think it's outdated? Um, we use C++ in a certain conditions uh, for mathematical equations because it's fast, and it's um, so close to the machine uh, language. But um, for websites, for web applications, we don't need C++ because it's hard. To, like, it would take six months to write uh, a code for a website but in PHP for example you can write a code for a website in one month yeah um, he sounds like what he's talking about he sounds, he like, sounds like what he's talking about you know yeah. he sounds like he knows what he's talking about he sounds about. like what he's talking about <laughs> yeah and in the, in, in the, in the center we, we, we initiated with um, my co-worker uh, Noel and uh, my co-worker uh, Roman a programming club that was a huge success in Erbil uh, a programming club is like um, like circles where you bring people to the circle and you teach them about technology yeah. it's like uh, teaching them about micro- microcontrollers microcomputers uh, teaching them about uh, front end HTML it's like small classes in, for- in an informal way now you're, you're saying all these good things that's great but you can also do bad things right I do bad things yeah. you do bad things oh uh, he yeah. said I do bad things which you- <laughs> I- I'm planning to hack uh at this PC. No! This yeah. Don't I am, no, no. Don't, 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 don't touch wait, wait, wait. the PC. Okay. Even your mobile. I, I no! Like, I like your mobile, by the way. No, don't, don't, <laughs> don't look at my Snapchat. <laughs> Suleiman, can you hack? Uh, 
I can make viruses and hacking on the way. Why so, did you learn how to make a virus? Um, because when you know, know programming, you'll be curious about everything. And when you're curious about everything, you'll be curious also about creating viruses. <laughs> and have you done anything bad? Uh, not yet. <laughs> what do you mean not yet? You want to do something bad in the future in terms of online? <laughs> What do you want to do? Which website do you want to take down? Now, if a friend of, of so, or someone like uh, annoyed me, I'll hack his yeah. PC. Yeah. Oh my God. It makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> Suleiman is dangerous. No. Do, 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 do. Not as you guys, you have guns. Like he has guns. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, hacking is more dangerous than my guns. <laughs> I only have my you laptop. Can, you, can, you can expose you, people. You can hurt people a million miles away. People have to be about 100 meters away from me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Quick question. Um, when when um, when you're learning about hacking, um, do you like the Trojan horse method or do you like other methods? Trojan horse method. Yeah, have, <laughs> don't you know about hacking? Uh, no, I don't. Really? No. The Trojan horse is like you know in Troy they had a Trojan horse. Yeah. Where you send someone something and it looks like something else, so they open it and that's how they get infected. Yeah, exactly. So we call it querying or query. So you go query for something, and then the server will reply to you. And when the server will reply to you, you will hack it. Yeah. That's exactly the same way you you said about it. So so you've done it before? Uh, no, I, I've done. I've, I've, I've never done. Before. Okay. Where do you yeah. build viruses on? Do you build viruses on Windows? Um, iOS, on, on, Linux? on Windows, we we use Linux. Yeah, uh, yeah. We Linux, Linux because it's um, you know, it's original and you can. Yeah. Make okay. A quick question. If you're developing it, um, just like because I've tried to develop a um, thing, a um, virus before. Make sure you what? don't. What? Yeah, I have. Why? Huh? It's it's just fun. Like yeah, it's fun. Like when you, <laughs> no, no, when you get into this world, like you just like, oh, okay, I can do this. I can do this. So basically, I got Linux on my laptop, and I was creating a virus, and I and the virus like basically invaded my own laptop. That's not good. Yeah. So my laptop got my own virus that I created, but it worked. So. Yeah, yeah, we used to be uh, like me and my brother Ahmed. We used to like um, try new things on Windows XP, you know, <laughs> before that, uh, and, and we created multiviruses. And eventually, the Windows is, cr is crashed. <laughs> Are you happy with the current state of IT in uh, Iraq? In terms of like, for example, we have fiber optic uh, underground, and we have 3G, unfortunately, on our mobile. Are we, is this good enough? Um, fiber optic is amazing, but in terms of telecommunication, we're um, way more behind. Yeah. Um, we, we need 4G. We need like even for 5G in 5G. the future. Yeah, 5G in the future. Um, uh, yeah, I think fiber optic is amazing, and I, I've been in other uh, cities. There's no fiber optic, like the infrastructure. There's no fiber optic, but here in Erbil, thanks God, we have fiber optic. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks God for fiber optic. Yeah, thanks God for fiber optic. Noor? Yeah. What are you doing on your phone? I'm looking up what does um, fiber optic mean. I asked You're about trying it. to be smart. Yeah, I don't know. I just know it's kind of an internet that is underground. Uh, no, it's internet that is transferred by wires that transfer underground. light. Underground. Optic fiber underground, optic. Underground, right? Yeah, yeah you, you, it's like by, by light. Who That's has fiber optic? Only the Kurdistan region? Only Kurdistan, Kurdistan yeah. region. And in Baghdad, it, in certain uh, places. It's not all back there. Mantaka Khadra has it in Baghdad. Yeah, the green zone. Um, like the, the green zone has everything. They have satellites. So it's cool. Yeah, I went to Baghdad and the internet is so slow compared to Kurdistan. You visit <laughs> Mosul once a week, you said? Uh, once a month. I, uh, actually, I went to um, the, the last couple of months. I went to Mosul, Baghdad, Kirkuk, Sully, and then I came back to Erbil just to get to know the tech communities there. Uh, ah. uh, uh, yeah, I'm planning for networking. And, you know, networking is good. Um, for IT teachers and programmers. I went to Baghdad, I, I participated there in, in, in hackathons and in events. Um, I've been, I had wait, training wait, 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 in wait, wait, Code wait. Lab and... Wait, wait, hackathon? Yeah, they exist. Yes. A hackathon where? It's a challenge. Yeah. It's a fakrathon in Baghdad in the station, al Mahatta. Yeah. I participated to solve um, a taxi algorithm there with, with a couple of my friends. And actually, tomorrow we had hackathon in Kurdistan in Erbil. It's the biggest ever hackathon. Where is it? It's in um, Recoded House. Well, really? Good luck. Why haven't Recoded invited us? Recoded, now? call us up. Yeah, um, I'm participating tomorrow. Do yeah. you still have family in Mosul? 
uh, my life, uh, my family, um, little Mosul, they have university and college. My father is a teacher of physics. Yeah. And ah. <laughs> So yeah, you come family. from a family of educators. Yes, I, like I've grown up between transistor chips and you know wires because my father used to do these things when I was a child. He taught me how to do a small circuitry, how to how to turn on a light, and eventually those things become um, part of my life, um, even in the future. So yeah. you live alone here in Erbil? I've lived alone. Yeah. Do you feel sad? Do you feel depressed sometimes? Uh, no, no. You're, you're I, happy that you don't live with your family. Um, yeah, I, I, I miss them, like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but like it, it's good to live alone because y you can do a lot of stuff. And <laughs> what like, kind of stuff? Like you can stay what all night and do programming <gasps> and oh you can drink coffee. Wait, like uh, you, you mean your parents would be mad at you if you stayed all night and drink uh, coffee? Yeah, my mother don't accept this. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to make Mama angry, of course. <laughs> and and yeah, just so you course. know, this radio station does reach Muslims. Yeah. So if so your, your parents are listening, yes. they know that you are lying to yeah, them. Yeah. She's when going you to come to no. Erbil and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you're a skinny guy. She can hurt you badly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that um, I, I used to listen to the show, and I've never thought like I would be hosted in this show. <laughs> where did you listen to the show? Here or in Mosul or where? In Erbil, yeah. Every day in the taxi and on my mobile, like listen to the podcast then. <laughs> well you're becoming an important person and I think people will know your name more and more <laughs> as technology to be, uh, becomes more important in our life we talked about this technology seems to be um, uh, catching up with our life here like the way it is in Europe and in America like like we saw how that guy created a, a safari pharmacy where with the app and same thing as you yeah we are catching up with other countries especially here in Kurdistan Erbil we had an amazing, amazing tech community in Erbil that is growing up day after day. And uh, even in the center and other places, we're trying to build a tech community that is um, that Kurdistan and Erbil would depend on in the future to build um, everything. Everything, yeah, because in the future, everything depends on technology, on your mobile, on, on your PC, on your laptop. And, uh, and for uh, people that are listening, if you want to start a business and you have no money, the, fi the easiest way to start a business if you have no money is create an app. That's the cheapest business you can create, an app, because it only takes manpower and that's it. And like uh, Apple takes two $2.50 or something. Yeah, it's like self-employing yourself. It takes of more than that, but okay, it's about $100. <laughs> no, on the App Store, <laughs> Yes. to yeah, become a developer, $100 a year. But you, you need to pay for the subscription. Okay, okay, $100 a year, Norm. But of course, Google Play if, is if, free. If you, open, if you open a company in Erbil, do you a oh, hundred dollars a year that's nothing what do you do when you are free i do a lot of stuff i'm busy all the day i do programming i do writing i read stories i read novels and when i'm totally free i do i, I do work uh or run and park sami uh i have some side projects and some main projects i also have projects within the center i'm working on currently we are planning to do front End, which is bu building websites in our center, which will be the first ever uh, course in Airville to teach um, front end, you know, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's a big y deal, man. Yeah, in the next couple of months, you'll see an amazing website created by um, um, 18 or 20 years old uh, girls and boys. Like, man. Uh, we also are planning for a gender equality. We are planning to include uh, women and men in, in our um, in our center. We had, uh, like I said, we had the programming club, we, which uh, we host um, tech community each week for one hour. We teach, um, and it's like educating people about technology and giving them access to the to technology because you know everyone has. The mobile but what he do on his mobile he just open facebook and you know he sees not the being productive yeah he just notifications and commenting and likes and that's it but no we're trying to make people use their mobiles to do something and that requires a lot of work yes um, uh, the courses is like from five to six months each two months you switch to another course if you succeeded and um yeah and one more thing, like people are thinking that programming is hard, no programming. I want to be a doctor, I want to like, um, no, engineering, no, like uh, programming is the trend in the world. Programming is the future, 
and if you don't know programming, it's like you don't know an English. Like programming is the is the language, language. of the future. Wow. It's a language. Like in Japan and Chinese programming is. Uh, That's how they talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yes.、Yeah. Um, you work with a lot of computers. What's your favorite computer? Uh, now I have HP Spectre X360. It's Windows.、Uh, I'm tr- I'm trying to get a Mac,、yeah. tra- MacBook Pro for web development because it's way more faster. Do you know about a song in 1985 called Computer Love? Computer, computer love. Computer love. Do you know about the Suleiman? No, but I will listen to it definitely. <laughs> it's a song about how he loves his computer so much. You should listen to it. All right, pretty cool.、Um, you are very bright, man. You're very smart, and I just feel like this country really,、uh, the the people is our resource. Yes, we have oil, and it's really important. It's more. Feel,、uh, look, look, oil is very important. But I, the 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 people that come out of this country, man, they're so bright, and you're really really smart, man. You just you you know all these different computer languages that you're talking about, and you wanna give it to the people. Yes.、I, Yeah, I, I just want to give it back to people to learn and learn from my, my experience. I've been through a lot of challenges and mistakes, and I, I just want to tell this or to teach this to people so that they don't、uh, fall in the same mistakes. Because when I grew up or when when I taught myself programming, I had mentors, I had、uh, people to guide me through this process. I had、um, a, a senior developer called. Uh, Sherry Messi. She taught me how、um, how to to learn this,、uh, how to guide me through the learning process. I didn't do it by myself. I had people to mentor me and guide me through this process. I had some friends. I have family uh, that um, pushed me forward、um, throughout these years because you know it's it's been like more than three years or four years since I started programming, and it's get difficult. After the first year, because it's a long process, there's a lot to learn, and you don't have time. So you you have to have at least one to two mentors. And my mentors, I don't mean mentoring you、uh, directly or talking to you directly in a cafe or in a place or in a room. You can have mentors on Messenger, on Twitter, on on Facebook, on on WhatsApp. There's a lot of people. Anything is possible. Yeah, a lot of people out there who are, who are willing. To、um, help and guide people, and I just、uh, um, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs>、um, I just, I just wanted to、um, think, say something before before you go.、Um, the fact that、um, ISIS was such a horrible thing, and、um, and you grew out ev- of it. To every to every、um, catastrophic thing, there's a silver lining. I'm sure if ISIS did not attack Mosul, you would have never came to Erbil. If you never、Or、came、Kirkuk. to Erbil. And studied in Kirkuk, you would have never gotten even those went programs to that you、it. talked about. So、um, every every horrible thing in your life does have a silver lining, and、um, I'm glad you made something of the situation that you have. Yeah,、it's, man, because be, being 19, 20 years old in a city, and then your city gets taken over by a terror group,、yeah. is the worst thing for your future. But now, look how bright your future is, man. Yeah, yeah, and 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 we have also small projects in Mosul to you know rebuild and just educate people there because you know for four years people there. Didn't have an education. That's the catastrophic thing there. So we're trying to do workshops, events,、um, uploading videos on YouTube, and publish it on on Facebook or on on a website, just to tell people to learn, not because they are behind, just to catch up and be with other、yeah. cities. Ali MTC checking in. He says, "Man,、uh, don't get Mac. Stick with Windows." That's his advice for you. Yeah. Our advice for you is keep going strong, man. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with everything. And whatever you need, Babylon is always here for you. Cause we're a community, community radio. And when we need you to fix our computers, we'll call you. Yeah, anytime. It's、yeah. my pleasure. And thank you, Noor. Thank you, Darfa.、Uh, and and also, I would I would、you、like to. You forgot my name. Yeah, I forgot your name. You're not important. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. What else you wanted to say? <laughs> it's、no. Noor and the loud. No, I'm sorry. Noor、yeah. and the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, and the other guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it, man. I got you. Yeah, I, um, I just wanted to say like thank you guys for hosting me here, and it's 
it's always good and a pleasure for me to be here and listen to you guys always and your amazing songs and one last question show. what is your favorite radio station Babylon <laughs> FM come on <laughs> Thank you so much, Suleiman <laughs> Hayek. You can find him in the Witch Institute? Um, Workwell Center, Italian Village, uh, Villa number 537. Just type Workwell Center on Facebook. Workwell Center, yes. Look how beautiful application and technology is. It's so beautiful that now when we say locations on the radio, we don't have to tell you the address. You don't have to write the number. and uh, Because now if you just type any business on Facebook or Google uh, Maps, it will come up. Work mm -hmm. well center. Type Work it. Work well center. And you will see Suleiman there. Yeah, make a visit. We, we, we will teach you everything. Yeah. <laughs> Suleiman, don't forget to listen to the computer love song, okay? Always. Thank Always. you so much. Good luck, man. Thank you. Take care. Thank Take you. Care, man.